I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent concept on dot product. Thanks to my subscriber for asking a relevant question. The question here is that uh, let's say we have vectors u which could be written as uh, ux uy and a vector v which could be written as vx vy so for simplicity i'm taking vectors in r2 as my example now the question is that when we do dot product that is when we do u dot v uh, we sometimes write this as magnitude of u times magnitude of v times cos theta where theta is angle between u and v and uh, at times when we do u dot v we do dot product of these components right so that is to say we say we write like this ux uy these are xy components dot vx vy and that is equals to u cos theta as you know for 90 degrees is 0 for 0 is 1 and therefore x and y components are at 90 degrees so so the dot product is product of their x components which is ux vx plus product of their y components uy vy okay so so that's what we get now the question is why do we have these two formulas and yes they do really help us how are they linked that's the question so so in this video we are going to understand the link between the two most commonly used formulas in vectors which are for dot product right so we say u dot v is magnitude of u times magnitude of v cosine theta and u dot v is also equal to sum of product of their x components and y components correct so that is what we are going to understand in this particular video. So let me geometrically show what these vectors are. So, so let's say this is a coordinate plane, a limited space here. We'll do the questions in half the page as we have done for most of the videos. Let's say vector u is, let's say vector u is kind of like this. Now for this vector u, we will write components of u so this becomes the magnitude of u correct this is the magnitude of u and the vector u in r2 can be written as ux uy is that okay where this side is ux and this side is uy perfect now let me draw the vector v for you let's say the vector v is uh, let's take like this okay that's vector v for us so the components will be let's draw a perpendicular now we can say this is the magnitude of vector v right and the vector v itself could be written as in its components form vx and vy right so this is vx for us and this is vy <clears throat> so these are the two vectors we're talking about and the angle theta is the angle between them so this is the angle theta for us is it okay so so that is cos theta angle between u and v now let us consider that the vector v has an angle of let's say uh, we can give some, let's say we call this as alpha okay we'll call this as let's say alpha and uh, this angle u we'll call this as beta is it okay okay so, so let vector v make alpha with x-axis and let vector u make beta angle with the x-axis so this these are our vectors now in this derivation i'm also going to use 
cosine of theta. Let's understand cos theta also. Uh, cos theta. Uh, okay, so uh, we'll use a formula. Let's say now. Okay, let's call this as cos theta. So if I say cos theta, so theta is this angle. It really means uh, cos of beta minus alpha. Is it okay? Beta minus alpha. So that is the angle theta. Do you see that? So cos beta minus alpha is the angle theta. Correct? Now what is the expansion of cos beta minus alpha? Let me write down this expansion. Uh, cos beta minus alpha is, okay, let me take it on the right side. Let's take it on the right side. Okay, <laughs> that'll be better. So we'll begin by what is cos theta. So clearly, cos of theta is angle beta minus angle alpha. So we'll write this as cos of beta minus alpha. Is that okay? Now here we are going to use a formula. Cos beta minus alpha is what? So as most of you will know, it is cos beta cos alpha. It's a trigonometric formula of compound angles. Cos beta cos alpha plus sine beta sine alpha, right? Sine beta sine alpha. This is a trigonometric formula, which is very common compound angle formula, which we are going to use to expand cos beta minus alpha. Okay. Now, what is cos beta? So if you look at this triangle, the one with the green one, u vector, cos is adjacent, let's write down, cos is cos of any angle, let's say cos of angle, Y will be uh, adjacent side over hypotenuse. Is that okay? So that is the basic definition. So cos of beta will be the this adjacent side is ux, right? So we'll write this as ux over the hypotenuse, which is the magnitude of vector u. Is it okay? That is cos beta. What is cos alpha? Cos alpha is the adjacent side for vector v, vx, right? over the magnitude of V plus sine beta. So this triangle U opposite side is UY, correct? It's the UY over magnitude of U. As you know, sine is sine alpha will be opposite over hypotenuse, correct? Basic trigonometric ratio. Sine alpha will be opposite to alpha is VY over the magnitude of vector v. Now we can add them up. We have a common denominator here, magnitude of u times magnitude of v, correct? The numerator, we have ux vx, correct? Plus uy vy. So these are the components which you get, correct? And all this is equals to cos theta. Do you see that? All this is equals to cos theta. Is it okay? Because cos beta minus alpha is cos theta. Is that correct? Yes, it is, right? Now, if I cross multiply, what do I get? So, I multiply cos theta by the product of magnitude of u and v. So, I get magnitude of u times, I mean, I should write like this, magnitude of v, because that dot can be confusing with the dot product. Dot product is always between two vectors, remember that, okay? And if I write dot here with two scalars, it means simple multiplication of scalars, correct? It is not a dot product. Let's be clear about this. So we get magnitudes, product of magnitudes times cos theta as product of these two scalar quantities, right? These are scalar quantities, these are not dot products. This dot is just a multiplication sign between two scalars, okay? This is what we get. Now you can clearly see that ux, vx, sum of product of x components and y components is u dot v, which is the right side. Is that okay? This is the right side. And uh, the left side is uv cos theta. Do you see that? And both are same thing. We call this thing as the dot product. So in vectors, we call this as the dot product. 
Is it okay? So, so from now onwards, we can use dot product of u and b as product of their magnitudes cosine theta, where theta is the angle between the two vectors, and which is also equal to their components product, right? So ux vx plus uy vy, right? These are the components, which are scalar quantities. Do you see that? So that becomes our basic formula for dot product to be used, right? So in vectors, we are going to use this formula in many applications, especially to find projection. That's one application. So in this set of videos, we'll look into uh, conditions for two vectors being perpendicular, right? When the dot product is zero, and then we look into projection of vectors, and we'll also look for direction cosines, right? As you see, that angle alpha and beta defines the direction of the vector with x-axis, right? So direction cosine. So these are very important things which we are going to explore in these set of videos, right? So I hope that gives you a good introduction about dot product and we'll now move into the applications of dot product. I'm Anil Kumar. You should always share my videos. Feel free to post questions and if you like, put likes. Thank you and all the best.